Yeah. So, um, I'm pretty sure you guys, um, remember me playing Guest Tea Chapter 10, which I honestly believe that it was, like, the actual, like, you know, Chapter X and stuff, but, um, I was wrong. And, yeah, I should have knew, like, it, it was a joke and stuff, you know, since it was on April 2nd, and when it usually comes to, you know, like, kind of, like, holiday kind of events in, um, Roblox Guesty, um, they're usually kind of late on doing that and stuff, since they're, 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 they always try to make these events big and stuff, you know. But, yeah, so, um, when Chapter 10 come out, came out, I honestly believe that it was, like, the actual Chapter X or whatever, but, um, I was just completely wrong. And it was basically just an entire April Fool's event chapter with, like, different kinds of April Fool's, Fool's event skins that you could get. It, um, in the boss fight and stuff, like, basically, like, some secret skin hunts and stuff, you, you know, all the good stuff we love in Guessy, just spending hours in just one game and stuff, you know, yeah, all the, all that amazing stuff, yeah, but, yeah, there were meant to be some, um, a like, there were also meant to be some April Fool's bundles and stuff, like, along with, um, you know, the update and stuff, um, but I'm pretty sure they had, like, kind of tr- they- kind of had trouble, like, making the skins and stuff, that kind of took them a little bit longer to actually make and stuff, so, yeah, but now the f bundles finally came out and stuff, along with, um, yeah, along with, um, this, um, reskin, like, kind of a reskin, I guess you could say, of, um, you know, the Syrup Blaster, you know, the weapon that the Pancake Robot has in the boss fight and stuff, and yeah, I got it and stuff, yippee, and it seems that Stickmaster Luke finally has, you know, his own, you know, icon. Nice. But, yeah, so, um, I was able to actually buy all, you know, the bundles and stuff. Like, we have the Pancake Robot, which is, um, yeah, it's like fucking 1,750 Bobuck. Yeah. I, not gonna lie, I honestly expected to, like, I honestly expect, like, the bundles to only be, like, you know, three of them. Because, usually when it comes to guesty updates and stuff... There are always, there's always, like, you know, like, three bundles and stuff that are either, like, 799 or 899 or not, 999, like, you know, Bobuck. But, no, like, um, yeah, they did, yeah, you were able to actually, you know, pre-order the Bloxer bundle, the Ga bundle and stuff, but, um, for some reason, I wasn't able to pre-order them for some reason and stuff. Like, um, they were out of stuff. It's just that it wasn't really showing it to me and stuff for some reason. I don't exactly know why, but, um, yeah. But yeah, once again, I was able to actually get, like, the, you know, the, all the bundles and stuff. Like, the April Fool's Hacker Bundle, which it, which was, um, yeah, which was based simply just, um, 2012, um, um, Bobuck and stuff. And, yeah. Um, once again, Pancake Robot, 1,750 Bobuck, the God Bundle, which is, si which is simply just 90, 999 Bobuck and stuff, and, um, yeah, and it seems that, I don't, I don't know what that originates from, but I do, yeah, the Bloxer Bundle, which was actually 1,250 Bobuck, and it, and it actually came with actually two godly weapons instead of one. So crazy, I know. But yeah, let's just say uh, they kind of took, you know, the April Fool's event a little too personal, I guess you could say. And yeah, as you can see right here, we actually have the Ellernates. I'm pretty sure I got that right, maybe, I think. Yeah, so if we go over here, down here, with all my skins, not to brag, though. Yeah, right here, LRNA, Caleb, 244, and Eye Trap. Now, if you don't know, these are actually based off of the t April Fool's event, like, April Fool's incident in 2012. I kind of researched it a little bit, and, and, and yeah, LRNA is kind of one of them and stuff. Um, so, hold on. So, real quick, I'm gonna be, like, explaining the entire story of all these, you know, like, um, incidents on April Fool's 2012, because, um... You know, to, like, catch you guys up or something. So, yeah, I'm going to the wiki right now and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Eller Nate, formerly known as Reset to Fill in His Cool um, 1295, was a Roblox game developer known for being involved in the 2012 April Fool's incident. And the overall main antagonist of this incident, before being terminated, he was he was a frequent poster on the LMAD subforum, as well as a successful de developer. Having made a series of Rob a Bank games, which had um, garnered him over one million total visits. Alright, so now here's where the story actually begins. So, 
Elevate, along with I Trapped and Caleb244, accessed the admin panel on April 1st, 2012. One of them created an account on a Roblox testing site on our administrator's username of Aerialist. And, um, uh, it, it's, uh, Libby, yeah. Copied the, ro um, Roblo security cookie and used it on the main site to be in complete control of an admin. God damn it! Sorry, it's still out of cabin, cold, or whatever. Of an administrator's account. From there, they cause havoc through economy manipulation, banners on top of the website, ha hijacking more administrator um, accounts to span the forms and more. On May 3rd, 2012, LNA was determinated due to his involvement in the 2012 incident. On an unconfirmed alternate account, um, LNA uh, had, had created under the internet named LNA Tilly. I, I don't even know if I got that right. Um, made a forum post asking um, users whether or not he should upload a 30-minute minute video of the admin panel to YouTube. This forum post is archived here. Um, yeah, there's a link and stuff. I'll show that later. Um, the account also made the claim that the Elernate account was poison banned, meaning creating new accounts would be impossible without a, VM, a VPN. Then, in the same month, Roblox was... Of the April Fool's incident, a video was uploaded of a user of an official Roblox admin account and contained Elernate talking to each other using X Fire. This video was taken down only two days later. However, almost a decade later, in March 2021, um, the video has resurfaced, uplo uploaded um, by a YouTube channel known as Dark Heart, who had claimed that he was Elernate. The video contained a the full original 30-minute clip, only to be taken down once again due to, uh, to the unknown reasons. <laughs> Sorry. Then later, September of 2023, another video of the clip resurfaced, except it's only the first four minutes of the video in low quality. This video still exists under old channel, under the channel Old Roblox Archive. During some point, uh, during some point during 2024, there was a bug, um via the Digital Services Act form that allowed users to reset usernames and take that on their own. The LNA was one of many accounts that were reset via this method um, and was renamed Villain is Cool 1295. The current account using the LNA username can be viewed here. And yeah, that's kind of the story of, um, you know, the April Fool's hacker. So basically, long story short, I'm like, kind of like, you know, took control of the admin panel in like 2012 and stuff, and then kind of, you know, Caused havoc on Roblox and stuff, you know, for shits and giggles. Obviously, it was April Fools. Now, since we took a look at, um, yeah, since we took a look at LNA, I want to see if like there's like any extra stories involving around, you know, I trapped and Caleb. Maybe not. Maybe it's just gonna be the same thing. I don't honestly know. We're gonna have to find out. All right, I trapped, also known as Isaac Heimer in real life, was a user on Roblox. He's mostly infamous for being responsible for the April Fool's 2012 incident and ruined the Roblox economy at the time. He is also known for being one of the first users that started a Roblox clones trend. He also made two Roblox ripoffs under the titles of Brick Planet and Block City. All right, so nothing really. Okay, so nothing really explained there. But what about Caleb though? Hold on. What about Caleb? We just kind of search up real quick. Give me a second. Um, okay, well, um, it seems that, like, Elrune is, like, one of the only, you know, like, the only person, like, you know, that, like, has, you know, kind of a story for this, you know, incident or whatever. Meanwhile, I trapped then Caleb244 don't really, like, you know, have a part of, like, you know, this kind of story, but are, but are, but still are, res were responsible for the April Fool's incident and stuff. Um, or there's just probably some story that I'm kind of missing and I'm just getting this from the weekends, week, wikis and stuff. And I don't want, even want to really bother, you know, like, trying to, like, like watch a 30-minute video and stuff of it, you know? Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, there you have it. Just <clears throat> just some little story about, you know, the April Fool's 2012 incident, just in case if anyone doesn't really know that much about it and stuff, you know, since, you know, it's, like, kind of, you know, featured here and stuff. But, yeah, anyways, let's just get straight into the bundle, shall we? And, yeah, there's also this um, new Guest 777 um, event with the Fish Sickle and Guest 777 itself. And, <clears throat> sorry. And, yeah, it's your typical event. You basically just had to, like, you know, complete this quest and stuff. Escape 25 times in Chapter 4. There is no way in hell I'm going to do that shit. Believe me, I already played... I already played enough, you know, guesty events this year and stuff in the past, like, three months, I'm pretty sure, so, yeah. And besides, I haven't even started, you know, my next animation and stuff, you know. 
because all these damn guesting events. I can't even, you know, sleep for once. But yeah, anyways, um, let's just shut up already, and yeah. Um, first up, we have the Eller Nades, um... Um, skin and once again, this is based off. Yeah, all these skins are basically just based off of you know the April Fools hackers during the April Fools 2012 in incident. If you if you honestly want to know more about this incident, I I'll find like a video or something and then just like put it up on a video card or whatever like right now, or just put a link in the description below. Uh, who who really knows? Probably both maybe. But yeah, this is Elernate, the main antagonist of the April Fools 2012 incident. And yeah, um, yep. There we go. Yep, see? It actually switches skins. It actually switch switches avatars because um I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm pretty sure that Elonate yeah, El Elonate had like a alternate alternative account alternative account or something. Or he actually switched like, you know, his avatar or whatever. I can't really remember what it actually said about, you know, the switching avatars or whatever, but yeah, this is, like, one of the second Guesty skins to actually, you know, like, change their appearance and stuff. The first one being Patchface from, you know, the Clash bundles and stuff, you know, like... Let's go, hold on a second real quick. Jesus Christ, I have a lot of skins. But, yeah, um... Yeah, the first one was... Yeah, Patchface and stuff. Went from, you know, um, that skin to, like, a completely different skin and stuff. Which is supposed to be based off some anime, obviously, so... Yeah, pretty cool, and they also have some pretty unique, um, but, like, effects and stuff, and I don't know if I'm get I'm gonna get these, like, effects right with their bundles and stuff, like, hold on, yeah, we have Account Possession, Termination Script, and Economy Trap, um, I don't exactly know which one of these is actually, you, you know, um, it, it, you know, the Termination, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, this, this has to be the correct, yeah, so, or, no, I don't think that's actually correct, never mind, um, then it must be account possession, right, or is it just like that, okay, so, it must be the termination script then, I guess, huh, I mean, it, it I mean, yeah, it, obviously, since it says termination, and LNA obviously got terminated, and yeah, if you have any of these, you know, bundles equipped it and stuff you you actually have this little yeah the classic like sparkle effect and stuff but it's like a different color depending on the skin and stuff like for lna he's like he's his like main colors like red so it's obviously red caleb is like it like main colors like black so it's obviously black and for um i trapped it's his main color is blue so it's blue so yeah we have this little red sparkle and yeah there there's just a lot of uh, there's just a lot of things happening to this bundle, Jesus Christ, but yeah, I have one of my alt accounts out in the wild right now, you know, meanwhile, my other account is right there, so, <clears throat> yeah, this is what it looks like in main graphics, I can't really, you know, lower the graphics down for some reason, you know, if only I can, son of a bitch, all right, um, anyway, so, hold on, let me just, anyways, so, here, oh, Oh, I placed a trap down. All right, but yeah. Anyways, here is what the Eller Nate um bundle fully looks like with the jump scare or something, you know. Damn. Okay, we're gonna be honest. That was actually pretty sick. And yeah, we even have some skins um from you know a hero event, another anime event that was featured before and stuff, you know. And I even got some more you know skins from the horror RNG event. And stuff like two of them being godlies. I'm pretty yeah. So um, two of them being godlies. Um, yeah, one being uh Gelatio or something. And I also got the eggplant skin along with the freeze um skin as well from that Easter crate and stuff. You know. So yeah, expect this to also be a very long fucking video. So yeah, let's just go kill my other alt account. I guess you know. I'm already starting to love these bundles. Yeah, as you can see on the top of the page and stuff, there's all there's going to be a part two of the Boot Thief for event and stuff. I'm pretty sure we all remember that event from Guesty. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna re yeah we're gonna review like the April Fool's Hackers bundle for bundles first, and then the Nightmare like the Pancake Robot and yeah so yeah I'm pretty sure yeah Shattered Dark Light and I'm pretty sure it, yeah Account Possession and yeah so we're gonna review. Um, 
yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna review the April Fool's bundles first, the, the Pancake Robot, and then finally, we're gonna review, you know, just the normal kind of bundles and stuff, you know? Yeah, there are a lot of bundles today, huh? Jesus Christ. I, I can't go a day without, you know, playing at least one guest the event, but, yeah, anyways, this is Caleb 244, like, one of, like, you know, the side characters, I guess you could say, during the April Fool's incident, but it's still responsible for the April Fool, you, you know, the April Fool's 2012 incident and stuff, you know? Um, I don't know if, like, these other hackers were, were also friends of Elernate or something, or Elernate just found them randomly and just decided to, you know, like, make them help him, you know, with this event. I, honest, I honestly don't know, but, yeah, this is Caleb 244, and the thing I like about these bundles is that, like, it's not like, you know, they're, like, normal avatars from, like, 2012 and stuff. Like, they actually have their own unique, like, style and stuff, you know? Like, 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 look at Caleb and stuff, you know? He just has a complete, you know... Very crazy. Now, anyways, um, let's go get... Oh, shit, one of my disconnect. Uh, yeah, uh, there's also gonna be some limited crates as well. Um, uh, yeah, so that means it's... How long is that, actually? How long is that? So, seconds, minutes, hours. So, yeah, that's gonna happen in, like, three days. So, we don't really have to worry about that now. So, um, yeah. Good thing. Uh, and yeah, once again, there's also the 777 event. And if I have, like, any bull buck, like, and if I have any, like, bull bucket stuff I get, then I'll most likely, you know, just buy the keys and stuff and actually, you know, spend it on it. Because, believe me, I'm not gonna waste, <laughs> I'm honestly not gonna waste my time being Chapter 4, like, multiple damn times and stuff, you know? Let, like, 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 I can tell you, like, I can tell you right now, I bet, like, if I even try to beat it, like, 25 times and stuff, and I get one key for that, and then, and then next thing you know, I just get nothing, yeah, I, I, all I get is just a fish sickle, like, again and stuff, because I already ha I already got, like, four times already, yeah, there's no way I'm, I'm just gonna waste my time doing all that and stuff, you know what it would make this event, honestly, more better? I honestly expected it to, like, be, you know, an actual, like, some kind of quest or event or whatever, you know, where, like, Yes 777 would appear in, like, Chapter 4 or whatever in some flashback and stuff, and, yeah, he, he would basically tell you, like, do something in Chapter 4 and stuff, and, yeah, if you actually completed it and stuff, um, like, like, you, you, you would get, like, an entire bundle and stuff, you know, and, like, the first 11 people who actually do it will actually get, you know, a Toy 1, 1X1, you know, um, like, um, shoulder accessory, you know, like, yeah, like, like, yeah, that will obviously kind of been, like, you know, a lot more better and stuff, a lot more kind of unique and stuff, you know, instead of, you know, like, beat in chapter four, like, 25 times just to get one key, just to spend it, and only get the fish sickle, and not even get, get 777, you know. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not even gonna waste my time on that, honestly. And I'm pretty sure none of you would be, would even waste your time as well, just to do all that, you know? Yeah, I ain't doing all that. Anyways, yeah, now that we're, you know, finished, um, talking about that, now, let's see the Caleb 244, um, bu bundle. Yeah, so, um, this is kind of like his theme a little bit, you know? Kind of eerie a little bit, not gonna lie. Yeah, I kind of like it that, like, it, I, I, I kind of like it that instead of, like, his, like, neck holding his head and stuff, it's actually, you know, just an entire damn hand actually holding him and stuff, you know? Yeah, I kind of like these, like, kind of bundles and stuff, you know? Kind of a lot more than, like, any of the Clash skins and stuff, you know? So, yeah, anyways. Effect. Oh. Oh! Oh, so from what it looks like, we actually got, we actually got our alt account infected, I, I guess, you know, since he was, she was given the face and stuff, so, so we kind of just made our alt account kill themselves. I, I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. Yeah, and, uh, along with, like, a second, like, effect that you actually get, if you, like, if you, like, equip any of the skins or whatever... You actually, yeah, yeah, you basically, like, get, you know, like, this glitchy particle and stuff, you know, around you and stuff. Along with just, like, a color-related, you know, um, kind of, you know, sparkles and stuff, depending on which skin you actually equip, you know. Like, since we have blue, 
um, were equipped with the Eye Trapped Bundle, and yeah, as you can see right here, this is like, yeah, this is like the bun, like the only skin that's not really, you know, like that, like, you know, like really crazy that much or whatever, you know, like all there is is just like half his body is just fucking gone, and you can just see his goddamn, like, bone, like spinal cord, whatever, whatever it's called, you know, um, yeah, very crazy indeed, yeah, this is Eye Trapped, along with, uh, yeah, what were the, you know, I didn't actually, you know, name the weapons, yeah, so, yeah, we have Liberty Light, sh yeah, which is Elonate's, um, weapon, Shattered Illumina, which is obviously, um, yeah, sorry, um, which is obviously, um, yeah, Eye Traps, you know, like, weapon, and of course, we have Shattered Dark Heart, which is Caleb's, and yeah, of course, the Ketchup Blaster and the Fish Tickle, which we'll get into later and stuff, you know, so, yeah, this is Eye Trap, along with his, along with his economy trap, um, effect, so, I don't, I don't know, um, yeah, I kind of saw a little video of someone actually getting, you know, the April Fool's bundles early and stuff from the developers, and it seems that Eye Trap has to do something with money, whatever, you know, and stuff, I, I don't, yeah, if, I, if I, if there's some, Things I missed about the, you know, the incident story of the April Fool's 2012 and stuff. And some of you, like, you know, kind of research it and know about it. Then maybe kind of explain it in the comments below, maybe, if, if, if so, maybe. But, yeah, anyways, here is what the effect looks like. Okay, not gonna lie, that's ha that, that, that probably has to be one of my favorite favorite effect, like, bundle, like, you know, effects in this one, honestly. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, the eye trap is not, like, kind of my favorite, you know, b like, bundle in this, like, it, it ha has to either go to, like, Caleb or, um, Elernate, but not gonna lie, um, um, eye trap has to have one of my favorite effects, honestly, not gonna lie, so, yeah, pretty interesting, so, yeah, now that we're done with that, now we're gonna get into... The pancake robot. All right, so yeah, let's just go down here. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, and yeah. Once again, it, yeah. And you know, here's the thing. Actually, if you act, if you are, if you like, if whoever like actually purchases, you know, the pancake robot bundle, will actually receive, will actually receive like not only you know obviously the bundle and stuff, but will also receive a free UGC. You know, yeah. Basically, just a syrup blaster, you know, back accessory, you know. And, yeah, yeah, as you can see, coming soon. So, yeah, as you can tell, um, there's not really, you know, yeah, there's not, yeah, um, the effect for the Pancake Robot Bundle is not really out yet and stuff. So, um, that's kind of a shame, not gonna lie, but, um... I mean, at least we got our UGC from it, so I'm not really complaining. But yeah, anyways, this is the Pancake Robot. Yeah, he gave me a lot of stress the first time I actually played Chapter 10 and stuff, you know. But yeah, this is the Pancake Robot, honestly. I, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, before, yeah, before even the Pancake Robot even, like, you know, became an actual character or whatever, you know, before Chapter 10 ever, ever came out. I kept hearing, like, hearing the song in Trade Island, like, the Pancake Robot is coming to town. Yeah, I honestly thought that NK basically just, you know, found that song from somewhere and then it just put it in. But no, it, like, it was, like, their own actual character and stuff, you know? Yeah, kind of a fun fact, I guess. But, yeah, once again, the effect is not really out yet for the Pancake Robot and stuff, so, um... Yeah, expect, like, a video on that, probably, like, probably, like, a short-form video on that, like, probably, like, maybe, like, in a week or whatever, or probably when, you know, the new Boot Thiefer event comes out, actually, maybe. Who even knows when this effect is even gonna come out, but, yeah, so, that yeah, we'll just, you know, kill her. Yeah, it just has the normal kind of, you know, guesty. I mean, I mean, they could have, like, you know, like, added, you know, his laugh or whatever, whenever you, like, whenever you, like, spawn in the boss fight or open the big door or whatever, you know, like, 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 they could have added that, but I guess they were kind of in a rush with making this bundles, I guess, you know, since, like, they were kind of late on making, like, releasing them and stuff, but I honestly don't know, but, yeah, oh, yeah, hold on a second, wait, wait, so, yeah, um, during one of their updates, they actually released a UGC hunt. And as you can see right here, I actually got myself the 777 Fedora hat, along with, um, the Ketchup Blaster, like, back accessory. Um, right now, it's already, you know, like, out of stock. It's already, the event, 
the event's already over and stuff, so you don't even need to bother actually going into the game to actually try and, you know, get it and stuff, so, um, yeah, honestly, it's kind of my fault, because I should have made a video on it and stuff, you know, to, like, you know, kind of, like, notify you guys that it's actually out, but, uh, whatever, anyways, but yeah, now this is, um, the Nightmare Pancake Robot and stuff, what are we in FNAF 4? But yeah, anyway, it's basically just, you know, the pancake robot, the very spooky, and a lot more red. Ooh, red is very spooky indeed. But yeah, we actually have the ketchup blaster equipped. I, yeah, so, yeah, the ketchup blaster is, like, right here and stuff, you know, so. Yeah, even a bigger one right here, you know. Yeah, to get you kind of reskin, I guess you could say. But yeah, um, anyways, let's just go over here and stuff, and, you know. Yeah, it's just making everything red around him, Jesus Christ. And yeah, that's probably one of, like, the, yeah, that's probably, like, the biggest, like, guest skin to actually come to date. And the final destination doesn't actually count since he's just, like, you know, all the way up in the sky and stuff, you know? So, yeah, like, we're, I'm, yeah, I'm just dependent on size and stuff, you know? Like, you know, so, yeah, yeah. The Pancake Robot is officially one of the biggest guest skins to ever exist. Honestly, I can't really remember what what's, like, the second big, like, what's the other biggest, like, skins or whatever, you know? I guess you could say, like, either Tiffany Mayumi or whatever, or, like, the Jenna skin or whatever, you know? But, I don't know, it's just up to you guys, I don't really know. But, anyways, yeah, now let's just go kill. Die. Die. As that one kid from A Bug's Life would say. Die. Die. Alright, shut up. I'm actually gonna do this from, like, most expensive to, like, less expensive. So... We were going from April Fools to the God Bundle, which is like the like the cheapest one out of all the bundles and stuff. And yeah, so uh, yeah, let's just there we go. Block. Why did it always make me small? Oh yeah, once again we have like a few other goblies from you know the Daily Shop, like Pixel and Silver um, Fiend Six Six Six. So I guess, I guess, XXX from the Twilight Universe, huh? Anyways, this is the Bloxer Bundle. Yeah, as you can tell already, this is based off of, you know, like the old Roblox days. During when, you know, the Roblox shirts and pants music was like, you know, kind of trendy and stuff, you know. And yeah, simply from the swords from the Heights, Heights game, you know. He traversed himself into the Guesty Universe and boom, we got the Bloxer, you know, bundle now. And yeah, along with his Link Sword, which is obviously um, the classic sword from Mo Roblox. Everyone should know this already, and if you don't know that, then, um, are you even human? Probably not, but, yeah, we also have the Model Claymore weapon. Yeah, this, this is like one, yeah, it's like one of the only bundles, like, one of, like, the only, like, singular bundles and stuff that actually, you know, like, give you, like, two weapons instead of, you know, one. I'm not, like, featuring, I'm not, yeah, I'm excluding, um, the April Fool Fool's Bundle, because it's just, it's like three bundles in one and stuff, so, yeah, it doesn't exactly really count and stuff, so. Yep. Alright, so, anyways, um, like, does he actually have a, wait, did he have, like, another theme, if we actually, you know, hold on, let me see. Alright, no, it's just the same theme. I think before it actually played like the you know, you know, you know that kind of music. But yeah, this is the Bloxer bundle. Yeah, a pretty simple bundle and stuff that you know can give you nostalgic moments for back in the day. You know, before Toilet Tower Defense was even created. You know, yeah, when people were actually creative with their games and stuff. You know, so anyways, this is what the effect looks like. Yeah, just many swords, like, flying around everywhere. Yeah, very crazy indeed and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, now, for the Ga. The Ga bundle. I don't know what this originates from, but yeah, the Ga, or the Ga, and the Ga child. Yeah. Um, uh, along with the Iron Fist. Yeah, it's not, like, a weapon this time. It's just, like, you know, uh, like, like, fucking Jesse's weapon from Minecraft Story Mode. The Order of the Stone, our weapon. Anyways. Um, uh, yeah, the Gah Gar- the uh, Bargage. Yeah, I- I honestly don't know what- hold on. 
I still don't know why these are still, you know, like heart web like heart currencies. I mean I mean Valentine's is just completely over now. Anyway, so now for the final bundle we have here before getting to like, you know, the extras and stuff, we have the Gah and the Gah Child bundle. Yeah. Once again, I do not know where the hell this even originates from. Like they kinda look like they have like prisoner outfits, but at the same time, I don't think they are. Once again, I do not know where this originates from, so whoever knows what this originates from, probably comment it below as well, you know? Kind of be, you know, like the helper of this video, at least, you know? So I can actually, you know, be smart with this game, so... Yeah, we also have the, um... Gah! Barrage! Barrage, or something, yeah. Yeah, the Barrage, um... Effect, so... Yeah, it's not really gonna, you know, be that, like... Yeah, yeah, this bundle's not really, like, you know, that big, unlike, you know, the other bundles we had in this update, so... Yeah, anyways, here's what it looks like. Damn. Damn! No, no, let her get up, let her get up. Oh, and, and she, she descended. Well, fuck. Anyways, on to the next one. Come here, you little shit. Die, die, ha, ha yeah, fuck you! Alright, so now we're gonna get into the trade island stuff to basically review, like, the other skins that I got from, like, previous events and stuff. Because, once again, um, instead of, like, making, like, multiple videos on the Gassy events, I usually just, I usually try and, like, you know, oh. Look at that, someone has the Lusty, Lusty skin, yeah. I think I heard to basically get that skin, you had to, like, you know, find some magnifying glass in, like, Nahid's office in Chapter 10 and stuff, and you and then you basically have to, you know, beat the boss and stuff, you know. Yeah. You are so damn lucky, my friend. And yeah, people even have, you know, the Guest 777 bundle and stuff, you know. You lu lucky motherfucking bastard. I mean, someone with the love bot, holy shit, 40, 40 million, four, 1 in 40 million chance. God damn, holy shit, um, alright, anyways, um, yeah, we even have people with Ancient, Ancient Rob, Robertson and stuff, I don't know what the hell that is, this music's so fucking loud, yeah, we even have, you know, like, a few of the Toy 1X1, yeah, it's not like the actual 1X1 character, it's actually just a toy version of it, I kinda have a fucking runny nose, son of a bitch, but yeah, once again, we're basically in Trade Island to just re basically just review the other kind of skin it, skins and stuff. So, um, what the hell's this? Oh yeah, it's the uh, April Fool skins. Ha, silly me. Oh yeah, and the uh, yeah the egg the egg hunt's still here. I don't know why. I mean, oh geez, the contraption is almost out and stuff. Oh dear. Um. Anyway, so yeah, now let's just get into um the other kind of. Uh, Oh, God, please, no. All right. For a second there, I thought he was gonna, like, you know, like, beg for, like, some skin or whatever, but anyways. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, we're gonna get into the hero event skins and stuff. And, yeah, they also had a weapon and some weapons and stuff. I only got one of them, so, uh, where is it? Aha, there it is. Um, anyway, so. Fuck. Um. Anyways, this is, um, Senif. Um, uh, Senif. I, yeah, Senif. Yeah. I'm pretty sure all these, um, skins originate from, um, One Punch Man and stuff, you know? Because, um, there's, there's, uh, there was also, like, a Singularity skin and stuff, which was obviously One Punch Man. Tornado, which was, like, a, like, one of, like, girl characters I do not remember of. Um, but all I know is, um, that people kind of, I, 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 I'm not even gonna say it. But yeah, this is one of the characters that I do not even recognize in One Punch Man and, and stuff, so, um, yeah. And it seems that someone got, you know, like, a special skin and stuff. I, yeah, I suppose that's, like, either from, you know, like, like that military crate from, like, when Chapter 9 released, like, already two years ago. Holy shit. A anyways. Um, anyway, so now, for the other skin. Um, yeah. Anyways, this is the Phantom yeah, this, this is a phantom. Who is the phantom? Once again, I don't damn know. Um, and yeah, it, th this is the phantom. Not not a phantom from FNAF 3, j just phantom from One Punch Man. Or oh, I'm probably getting that wrong, I don't know. And yeah, as you can tell, uh, yeah, as you can tell, I did not even get any of, um, the April Fool's event skins. It's because, once again, I'm not even gonna bother, you know, trying to do that stuff, because... 
Once again, I already been through enough of all these events, so I, I just need some break and actually, you know, try and work on an animation I'm playing and stuff, you know. That, that you know, I don't want to spoil that much and stuff, you know. But, yeah. Anyways, this is the Iron Claude. Honestly, kind of reminded me of Elvis Presley because of, you know, his hair or whatever. Yeah. Oh, shit. But, yeah, it seems that um, some of his, you know, shirt got ripped off or whatever, you know. And, yeah, he's just showing his damn muscles, you know. Yeah. Pretty cool. Anyways. I honestly wonder if, like, if you actually, if, if, if you actually, like, you know, click on the birthday cake multiple times, you actually get a secret skin. I honestly wonder that. Anyways. I can definitely tell this guy, he's gonna just, you know, uh, can, can I offer this for this and stuff, you know? Like, I, yeah, yeah, since I have all these damn skins, and you, you get it. Anyways, now for the horror RNG, um, skin. So, yeah, this is the Cat Saga. I don't, I... Believe me, I do not even need to explain, like, where this originates from. It's obviously from, um, the Neko arc and stuff, um, from whatever. I, I'm pretty sure it's from anime, but I don't exactly remember which anime it's actually from and stuff. But, yeah, Cat Saga, which is a, which was a 1 in 900,000 chance to actually get and stuff. And, yeah, now because, yeah, now because Haza made, like, that one dice game and stuff, um, now RNG is actually getting more popular. Really, the first time I even heard of RNG was damn get from damn damn Guesty and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm that much of a different kid and stuff. So, anyway, so yeah, now for the last skin, I'm pretty sure, right? Right. Um. Yeah. All right. So, um, Sakura, sp um, Sakura Sprain. Yeah, this is Sakura Sprain. I yeah, I I suppose it like their own original character, or just some, or just inspired by some kind of character, I don't know, but it's a 1, one in 350,000 chance to actually, you know, be able to get, but now you can't even get it and stuff, since obviously the horror RNG event is over, because obviously, Valentine's is over, and now we're getting to summer, baby, hell yeah! Alright, anyways, now we're gonna get into, uh, like, the other skins from, yeah, so... Yeah, this is the Jalantia, Jalantia, in a Jalantina, 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 or Jalanta, J the, whatever he's even called. Um, yeah, yeah, this was a one in one hundred and set, sorry, one hundred and seventy-five um thousand chance to actually get and stuff. And yeah, that's like I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like um. Yeah, like, isn't, yeah, isn't that, like, the, like, the third, fourth skin, like, legendary skin I actually got from the event? I don't even know, right, hold on. Yeah, let's see, um, Dark Lord, uh, huh. Alright, whatever. Anyways, but, yeah, now, the Egg Plane, which I wasn't able to get during, you know, the previous video of my guesty gameplay and stuff, you know, but yeah, now I got it, and it's basically like a fine, you know, like a fine like, grassy kind of egg and stuff, you know, so, yeah, nothing really that special, since it's obviously our legendary skin. And obviously, at this point, no one even really gets legendary skins, because once again, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more godlies than even, like, legendaries, rares, uncommons, and even commons combined and stuff, you know? Hell, even ancient, you know, rarities. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. The quad deller and stuff. De de the quad dealer and stuff. I'm pretty sure that was from. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these two were from. Um, yeah, the sh daily shop four and stuff. Man, were those good times. Anyways, um, uh, anyways, um, now for the last skin actually, is the freeze. Yeah, um, another uh, yeah, another skin from. Oh. Yeah, another skin from the Easter credit and stuff. So, yeah, see, like the freeze. For some reason, I got, I was, I literally got the Easter Bunny, like, I, I got the Easter Bunny, you know, like, skin, more than the free, more than the damn free skin, and stuff. Th that, that has to say something, right? Wait a second, are those different skins? Wait, hold on a second. Hold on, let me just equip to one of the April Fool's bundles and stuff, you know, just in case if I want to end the video right here. Just give me a second real quick, uh... Let's just, you know, turn into the Caleb. Like, probably, like, my second... Like, probably my first or second favorite bundle out of the April Fool's bundles. So, yeah. Yeah, there we go. 
And um, there we go. So now let's go up here. Hold on. What about these things? What the hell? Hello, where the ah Ah, of course. Um yeah, of course it's from the Alright, you know, shut the fuck up. Of course. Um Alright, shut up. Anyways, um, yeah, it seems that these two people got, were able to get, the, like, those different kinds of skins in the whole RNG event and stuff, so, yeah, like, um, uh, Sanguine, huh, when, yeah, 1 in 100,000 chance, and Valentino, wait, Valentino from Hasbro Hotel, holy shit! Oh, would you look at that, it seems that, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is also, like, a skin from, yeah, this was, yeah, this was, like, a, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, like, a skin from, um, the, you know, the, what, like, the, yeah, this, or, yeah, yeah, the, the, the Isakar right here, yeah, uh, wait, do I actually have enough for the, no, shit, um, all right, anyways, um, yeah, seems like someone also has Big Joe and stuff, you know, that's what he looks like, I guess, um, you know, yeah, let's actually go around, you know, the Trade Island and just see what people, like, what kind of people actually have, you know, like, skins that I don't really have and stuff, I mean, yeah, so, yeah, it seems that like someone got the Easter Lisa from... Uh, oh, even the Titanium Bat. Yeah, good for you, you know? Yeah, probably got that you know, first try. Oh, someone even got the Limitless skin. Wow. You guys are so damn lucky, aren't you? You know, yeah. But this game... No, this game kind of hates me, you know? It just wants me to spend hours in the game and stuff just to get one damn thing that I'm not even going to use, like, later on and stuff, you know? But... Yeah. Well, guys, um, that was the end of the video. That was basically just... All of the April Fool's bundles and stuff, like, all of, um, you know, the, like, the other skins that I got from previous events and stuff, you know. Yeah. Pl please, please, no, I, at least, like, you know, like, take a month off, you know, from these events and just release Chapter X right now, you know. We, we really need it. A anyways, I'm just getting the video right here. I really can't wait for the other events that's gonna come out along the limited crates. <laughs> Uh, what? Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm obviously gonna play. I'm obviously, you know, gonna make another video on guesting and stuff, most likely involving around events once again. But if you're going to see that video, do I really, do I really need to say it? No, I do not. Anyways, um, yeah, and let's talk about the Punky Puss YT group real quick. Um, you can actually suggest more than like Roblox experiences and stuff, like. You can suggest Puggy's Pictures extra ideas, videos me do react on YouTube, like movie trailers. Like, it doesn't have to be Roblox experience specifically, it can just be anything. So just make sure it's not um, inappropriate for obvious reasons. Also, quick notes though. If the Roblox experience you just is not Xbox support in the moment, they'll basically just, just say in the group ball that's not Xbox support. But when it does be able Xbox support in the future, I'll most likely hopefully remember to play it. Also, to suggest the Skippy the Toy experiences are not allowed, so suggest that Skippy the Toy experience. Then, boom, you're completely deleted, and that was the first one we've been exiled out from the group. Also, if you did show the Roblox experience, though, or notify me that was an update one of these Roblox experiences I did play before, but I never heard the update, and I still haven't made a video about it yet, there are two things that are happening right now. Number one, I'm probably busy recording out Roblox gameplay stuff, because I usually record just will last. Or number two, I'm probably busy doing something else, you know, like an animation or completion project that I haven't been able to announce yet. But don't worry, the Roblox experience you just asked will still be recorded by me, uploaded, yada yada, so be clear in the description below. Roblox profile by check. Roblox profile or by changing the YouTube channel. Also, do not just meet any Roblox experiences made by people on the platform and have done no good things, you know, like game fan, big games, arguments multiple times, your comments deleted, and it's not a warning, I just only show that kind of stuff. Pretty simple. Also, do not just meet any Roblox R63 experiences. That one is so explanatory, you may stop from the group without any warnings. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Puggy was my T-Sign for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, peace out.